Hello everyone, welcome back to Frames of Nature, a channel about nature, photography, and more. Elephants, the gentle giants as we all know them, love water. Playful herds can be seen feeding, splashing water on themselves, and showering each other with sprays from their trunks. These majestic mammals not only enjoy having a good time in the water, but they're also excellent swimmers. The elephant's huge body, very surprisingly, gives enough buoyancy to stay afloat. The seafaring elephants of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Sri Lanka are very well known. Legends like Rajan, the beloved swimming elephant of the Andaman Islands, hold a worldwide reputation and were even featured in The Fall, a 2006 Hollywood movie. Many experts suggest that the elephants in Sri Lanka are the progeny of elephants that swam across from the southeastern part of India across the sea. There is even a theory that the Loch Ness Monster was actually an elephant from a traveling circus. Paleontologist and painter Neil Clark noticed that the famous photograph from 1934 looked suspiciously like the top of an elephant's head with the trunk extended up out of the water. An elephant's swimming prowess can be better appreciated when witnessed firsthand. It was a lovely afternoon on a safari into the beautiful forests of the Kaziranga Tiger Reserve in India. Just upon entering the park, we saw some movements in the bushes across a small stream. A massive young elephant emerged from the thickets it was a young male, but he was missing the well-grown tusks. In the local lingo, such males are referred to as maknas. The elephant moved toward the water for a nice cool drink. He squeezed himself through a narrow gorge leading to the bank and stepped into the water. The scene was all set for him to have a good time drinking and splashing around in the water. However, the elephant had other ideas. The elephant started wading along slowly. The water body was not a small stream or a pond, but opened up into a rather big lake. The pachyderm then turned around and began moving toward the deeper side of the lake. The depth of the lake became increasingly evident when more than half the elephant's body was submerged. After a short amble, the elephant disappeared. Only the upper part of his head was visible, like a rock on the water's surface. It was now clear that this guy was going to swim across the lake. Slowly, more of the elephant started to show with his trunk sticking out of the water's surface. He started moving across at a good pace. The trunk was working like a snorkel, helping the elephant take in the air needed to breathe. The elephant was spurting out water through his trunk every now and then, like a pompous fountain. The swimming elephant brought in a lot of enthusiasm amongst the nearby water birds. The elephant used his powerful legs to paddle and spread the soles of his feet to help propel himself. This rigorous paddling from the gentle giant was displacing quite a lot of water and along with it, a lot of fish. The water birds, mostly the oriental darters, saw this and sensed an opportunity. The darters started following the swimming pachyderm in the hope of a quick meal. Some of the birds got lucky. The elephant's snorkeling continued. Every now and then, he would surface and spray out a jet of water. At times, only the trunk of the elephant was visible outside the water surface. It was so amazing to see such a huge mammal swim across completely submerged. Finally, after a few minutes of continuous swimming, the elephant reached the opposite bank. A final jet of water let out and the elephant had made it. He stepped onto land after a successful marine endeavor. It took around five minutes for the elephant to swim across the huge lake. A very impressive feat indeed. Elephants are very efficient swimmers. They are known to swim across considerably long distances, getting some rest when tired just by floating. There is a record for elephants in Africa having traveled a distance of 48 kilometers across water, swimming for six hours at a stretch. Discussing this wonderful sighting with the local guides of Kaziranga over a cup of tea revealed many interesting details. Apparently, this elephant crosses the lake every day. On one side of the lake is the Tiger Reserve, a highly protected zone. 
and the other side is the buffer, a relatively less stringent area of the forest where tamed elephants exist. The swimmer in our story seems to have found a female companion in the buffer zone, hence he swims across each day to meet up with her. Now what do you say to that? The things that many will do for love. As always, if you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching!